This is President Trump is suing tech giants Facebook, Google, and Twitter for banning him from their platforms earlier this year. I want to bring a New Jersey Congressman, Homeland Security Committee member, and Transportation and Infrastructure Committee member, Jeff Andrew. Congressman, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. What do you make of the fact that the president seems to be giving the FTC a lot more power? Well, you know, I, I'm concerned with it. I mean, this is something, first of all, he's made recommendations, suggestions. Uh, what are the specifics? And I guess the FTC is supposed to work that out. But how about maybe Republicans and Democrats in a bipartisan way do legislation that is really meaningful, that addresses some of the issues he spoke of? First of all, we don't really know how they're going to get involved in the marketplace. Uh, and, and that's something that is concerning. And secondly, uh, we want to make sure that we can do some good legislation to help seniors with drug prices, to help individuals be able to compete with very, very, very large corporations in a fair way, though. And, and most of all, most of all, this is about freedom of speech. Big tech is not allowing, and the internet is not the open marketplace of ideas that it was always supposed to be, and that concerns me a lot. It's a First Amendment a right. It's why the president is suing. Whether you like the president or don't like the president isn't the issue. He was the president. He has a right to be on this open marketplace of ideas. And Rob Luna, I want to bring you into this because, again, this is, this is trillions of dollars that are on the line here against these companies. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And as I was saying earlier, I mean, these are such important platforms today uh, for whatever it is you need to do, business, um, r running for, for office. Obviously, we, we talked about the millennial generation, the largest generation in U.S. history. That's the way they're consuming media. So if we're allowing Hollywood, we're allowing these big technology companies to construct that narrative, that's a very slippery slope. So kudos to President Trump for bringing this up. Whether or not, you know, what the outcome is going to ultimately be, I'm not sure. But this is a very important issue that he's bringing to light. Well, and it's a class action lawsuit, and it's likely going to the Supreme Court. Many experts have told us. Uh, you know, Maria spoke with New York Congressman Lee Zeldin yesterday on Sunday Morning Futures about what's happening down at the border. Congressman Van Drew, I want to get your reaction after this. Listen. It's a staggering crisis uh, at our border right now, reality setting in. Uh, we have, as members of Congress, uh, an oath that uh, it provide for the common defense. We should be uh, funding Department of Homeland Security and ICE and Customs and Border Patrol. We should be strengthening our borders, enforcing our rule of law. So it's important for those in government to provide all of the resources to law enforcement to do their jobs safely, effectively, uh, because this is not just something that crosses a border, but it's something that quickly spreads to cities and communities all across our country. Congressman, your reaction to that? Uh, Lee's right on target. You know, I, I literally uh, interviewed Secretary Mayorkas in our Homeland Security uh, meeting that we had, and I said, how are things at the border? And he said, well, I think we're doing well. And I literally got to the point, I was asking him question after question about, you know, the fentanyl that's coming in at record rates at the ports. There's enough fentanyl in the United States of America now to kill every man, woman, and child many times over. I asked him about the children that are being used as drug mules, the children that are being used and abused to get other people over the border, uh, literally that are getting sexually abused, physically abused, as well as women going through this. It's awful even mm. for them. Yeah. I asked him why when we had an agreement before with the Northern Triangle and we had an agreement with Mexico to hold folks there, and they were treated decently, by the way. Yeah. Some of them were even working and doing other things. President Trump had worked that out. We broke that open completely. We've broken our borders open. And he, he just didn't see it. And I, and I told him that this is what I really believe. It's bizarre. It is such bad public policy yeah. that it is bizarre. It's like looking at your hand and saying that you don't see it. I have no idea what they're doing. It's awful for the country. It's awful for that section of the world. And I, and, you know, not, not to get political here, but I want to bring in Sean Duffy because this this may hurt uh, the Democrats when the midterms come around. No, I think it may. I, this is not just a border issue. This is an American issue. And the uh, the border laws are broken, and Democrats are using that to open up 
uh, the border and let people flow in. But I, just if I can ask a quick question to Jeff, I mean, Jeff is uniquely positioned. He ran as a Democrat and then he famously switched parties and now he's a Republican. And I think that the only way you're going to fix this problem is if Republicans and Democrats come together. Congressman, do you think you can get any bipartisanship to fix the border uh, in Congress? I think that we can, and I don't mean to be so partisan when I say this, but I think it's going to take us winning the next congressional race, getting a new majority, and I think we'll be hopefully uh, then able to work. Because right now, and I'll tell you that, you're right, I did change. In the last session, there were five, six, eight, even sometimes ten Democrats that would move over and vote with the Republicans. Mm. Take a look at this voting session. Not one, not ever on any important bill. Zero. Yeah. They are being so whipped and structured right now that even people I know to be a little bit more moderate, wow. they're not doing it. It's I, incredible. I don't understand it. It's incredible, Congressman. It's great to have you here, it sir. Is. Yeah, thank you. Thank cool. you so much. All right, we'll be right back.